Hello guys, Jesus here again, and I'm back to show you something else other than the jar. If you haven't seen the video on the jar, if you're making a faction server, definitely check it out. I'm running a Christmas sale on my canning jar right now. The link will be in the description. Aside from that though, what you can see here is a Canon printer or a Canon blueprint. This is also a plugin that I've made that I offer now, and I'm also running a sale on it. So here's the video for it. I'm going to show you how exactly you can use this plugin and what exactly it can do. So as you can see here, there's a cannon being printed in. Now the way this works is you can create blueprints of schematics that you have uploaded. For example, this cannon here. And then you can sell them to your players through a shop or trades or whatever. or whatever it may be. For some reason this block won't move. Anyways, what these blueprints offer you is a way for any player to place a cannon without being able to, well, build it. And with the lack of a proper printer on this version, I think this is quite important. A lot of servers like Complex already use something like this. And this is my version of it. This uses uh, World Edit API, so it doesn't have any performance impact really. And obviously it uses World Edit schematics as well. So the way you use this, once you have the schematic, you can left click to preview it. As you can see, it's going to show you where the cannon will go. It is also going to rotate depending on what way you're looking at it. So if I look this way, it's going to want to print like that. If I look this way, it's going to want to print like that. Now I want to print it like this. So I place it here. And then right click. This does have factions bridge integration. So this can only be placed if it's in claimed land and it can also only place if the area is not obstructed and obviously this is a very safe way to implement something like this. For every block placed it checks if the player can actually place that block, if not it will not allow and cancel the print. So basically if the claims change and the player who placed it is no longer allowed to print there then the print will just cancel. Also, since you're the one who uploads the schematics and creates the blueprint for your players, there is no risk of any exploit or duping as long as you make sure that the price of the schematic is high enough so you can't profit from placing it down and mining it. Now, as you can see, this is printing in rather fast. This one over here is going as well. I'm going to show you the config for it. You can change the pre prefix for the output. You can change the item. You can change the name of the blueprint items that you receive, as well as the description. And you can also change the speed at which it prints in. I set it to zero right now, which means it prints every tick. The default that I have is four. Let's reload this real quick. Now, as you can see, these here are still going at full speed, but, and this here still says time to build zero, but if I get a new one now with delay four, it's gonna estimate this would take 32 minutes to build. This build time is actually correct as long as your server does not lag. And placing this down now, should be able to see it printing at a slower rate. At this rate, it is going to take this 32 minutes to complete. Obviously, you can play with that depending on the meta of your server. I'm now also going to show you how you can upload cannons to use them. First, you want to visit this site here. I'm on a cannon server, so it's recommended to me. As you can see here, this is the world edit upload side. 
here we have the link. I'm also going to have this link in the description. Now you're going to want to pick a schematic. So here's my schematic folder. I am going to get something random like this here. Actually, I think that's the one I already have. I'm going to get these concrete side cannon here. Copy URL. Close this down. Paste it here. Now we have the schematic loaded here in a second. Since I'm printing with delay zero, I don't recommend to do that unless you want to print something really fast to test. I would always put it to one or above. This can take up all the world edit threads if you are printing at delay zero. Way to stop this would just be to reconnect. If I disconnect, obviously my printing will be stopped. Now I can load the schematic and let's first see what we have loaded here. So this is the cannon we have loaded. I'm now going to save the schematic under the name of concrete side. And now that I've saved it on the server, I can create a blueprint for it. This here says it will take seven minutes can't be placed here since it's obstructed. We'll place it here. As you can see for the schematic, I made the actual schematic a bit bigger, a bit taller than the cannon. You wanna have no extra air in the schematic outside the bounds of the cannon for optimal printing times. As you can see, this here is getting printed in now. This also has no problems with printing in repeaters, comparators at the right delay, no problem with redstone or dispensers. Since I do use world edit and it will also clear TNT out of the dispensers if they, it was in there in the schematics. Though I don't recommend you to have schematics with TNT in it in the first place. Now, how can you get this plugin? Just Join my Discord, links in the description, and open a ticket or message me directly, and we can get you the plugin. This is currently $50 USD with the sale for permanent access plus source code. You will have the source code, so you can fork it and change it however you like if you need that for your server. And obviously, if there's any issues, I will check it out and fix it. That being said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.